defence budget, I think, at least until uh, the big uh, burst of inflation this year, the defence budget for the next couple of years uh, is more or less uh, funded. It, it adds up more or less. Uh, but beyond 2024, it does not. Uh, and items such as uh, the new generation of, of fighter aircraft, the future combat air system, as it's, it's still called, which will re replace our Typhoon jets. That's a big item. Uh, the, the replacement nuclear warhead, uh, which uh, is still at an early stage, but will involve a lot of money by the end of the decade. That's not uh, fully funded. Uh, and the, the plans for a new generation of attack submarines uh, which uh, we could well be developing jointly with Australia. Uh, that again is not fully funded and, and many people, including Ben Wallace in his uh, statement today, uh, there's a lot of uh, indication that the government would like to have more of those submarines because they're so valuable. And then you can go right across the, the piece of the army as well. A lot of ambition in the army to, to modernize and responding to uh, to the need to be better prepared for what we're seeing in Ukraine today, um, that requires extra investment in people as well as uh, in, in kit. Uh, you don't want to be underarmed if you're facing a capable opponent uh, like Russia. Clearly, the Ukraine war has uh, created circumstances in which there's uh, a lot more focus, political focus, public focus on defense. And of course, it's a very starkly shown that uh, large scale conventional war is not a thing of the past. Uh, and therefore, we need to prepare for it. Uh, if you're going to have, I think the report says 25 to 30% more service personnel by 2030, then you are going to have to start recruiting those people. You're going to have to think about how you house them uh, and train them. You're going to have to think, particularly, but not only in relation to specialists, areas like uh, RAF pilots or nuclear engineers for uh, the new submarines we're bringing in, uh, all those people are hard to train. I suspect it will also mean paying armed forces or particularly specialists in the armed forces quite a bit more than we pay them now, uh, so that we're able to attract uh, increased numbers of people in, into the military.